This is lesson 2.4, Deductive Reasoning. Your objectives are to use the law of detachment and use the law of syllogism. Deductive reasoning is the process of using facts, rules, definitions, or properties to reach conclusions. One form is the law of detachment. Law of detachment says if P to Q is true, and P is true, then Q is true. Another way to look at the law of detachment is to say you're going from a general P statement to a general Q statement and then a specific P statement is true. If that's the case, then the specific Q statement is true. Determine whether the stated conclusion is valid based on the given information. If not, write invalid and explain your reasoning. Number 1. If a number is divisible by 6, then the number is divisible by 3. 18 is divisible by 6, so the conclusion, 18 is divisible by 3. Well, this goes exactly true, based on the law of detachment. It starts off with a general statement, P to Q. Then it names something. It names the number 18 specifically. And then it names 18 again. So this is true because of the law of detachment. General P to general Q. And specific P, then specific Q. Number two. Given, if a pet is a rabbit, then it eats carrots. Jenny's pet eats carrots. The conclusion, Jenny's pet is a rabbit. Well, this doesn't flow. The general P to Q is if it's a rabbit, then it eats carrots. So the next specific part should go from rabbits to carrots, and it doesn't. It goes from carrots to rabbits. So this is invalid. It does not flow properly. If it had said, Jenny's pet is a rabbit, and then Jenny's pet eats carrots, then it would be true for the law of detachment. But as it stands, it is invalid. Number three. Given, if a hen is a Plymouth rock, then her eggs are brown. Berta is a Plymouth rock hen. The conclusion, Berta's eggs are brown. This is definitely true because of the law of detachment. Notice how it goes from a general P statement, a hen is a Plymouth rock, to a general Q statement, her eggs are brown. Then it names it specifically, Berta is a Plymouth rock hen. That's a specific P, which leads to a specific Q, Berta's eggs are brown. Law of detachment. Law of syllogism. In the law of syllogism, P goes to Q and Q goes to R. So then P goes to R. It's sort of like the transitive property where A equals B and B equals C, so A equals C. It relates to that very closely, except we're talking about P's, Q's, and R's and statements instead of values. Use the law of syllogism to draw a valid conclusion from each set of statements, if possible. If no valid conclusion is possible, write no valid conclusion. Number one. If a dog eats super dog dog food, he will be happy. Rover is happy. This does not flow with syllogism at all. There is no valid conclusion. What we have here is statement P, eating the dog food, leads to statement Q, being happy. And then they get specific with Q and say Rover is happy, but there is no statement R. This isn't even close to syllogism. Number two, if an angle is supplementary to an obtuse angle, then it is acute. If an angle is acute, then its measure is less than 90. 
This is definitely P to Q and Q to R, so say P to R. If an angle is supplementary to an obtuse angle, then its measure is less than 90. If P goes to Q and Q goes to R, then P goes to R. Syllogism works. Number three, if the measure of angle A is less than 90, then angle A is acute. If angle A is acute, then angle A is congruent to angle B. That's definitely a P to Q and a Q to R, so say P to R. If the measure of angle A is less than 90, then angle A is congruent to angle B. P goes to Q, Q goes to R, so P goes to R. That's syllogism. Number four. If an angle is a right angle, then the measure of the angle is 90. If two lines are perpendicular, then they form a right angle. This doesn't flow right. There's no valid conclusion here. This says if P goes to Q, then R goes to Q. That's not syllogism at all. Number five. If you study for the test, then you will receive a high grade. Your grade on the test is high. This doesn't flow with syllogism. There's no valid conclusion. Because we have P leading to Q, and then we have Q again, but they don't give us any R statement. This is not syllogism. So for detachment, it goes from a general P to a general Q, and a specific P to a specific Q. If you are hungry, then you eat. Joe is hungry, so Joe eats. General P to general Q, and then it names somebody's specific P to a specific Q. Syllogism says, if P goes to Q and Q goes to R, then P goes to R. If you're hungry, then you eat. If you eat, then you pay for your food. If you're hungry, then you pay for your food. P to Q, Q to R, and P to R.